right now in New Mexico. Alec Baldwin is back in court for his involuntary manslaughter trial for that fatal Rust movie set shooting. And NBC News has just learned that the testimony of a key witness may be delayed. NBC's Dana Griffin is following the trial and joins us this morning. Dana, what do we know today? So not only could that key witness, Hannah Gutierrez, read the armor be delayed, but right now, as we speak, there is a motion that is being heard by this judge because the state is asking for the case to, the case to be dismissed. They claim the state buried evidence concerning ammunition that was brought in by what they call a good Samaritan who said, hey, this ammo is tied to the death of Helena Hutchins. And the state is saying the state did not present that evidence to the defense that could have been exculpatory or could have been information to gain a better sense of where exactly those live rounds came from. It may not really help Baldwin's case, but it could overturn essentially Hannah Gutierrez Reed's conviction if they can prove that those rounds were a match and could have and came from the supplier of the ammo to of the ammo to the rust film set. So this is major because they are essentially asking the judge to look at this evidence before they proceed with this court case today. So we just saw a moment where the judge literally cut open that sealed evidence envelope, took out those rounds, and they were literally in the courtroom examining them to see if they were a match. And so the woman on this on the stand, Marissa Popple, she is the crime scene oh, look, technician. The, that's what you're talking about. These are the images. So what they are trying to look at is the primer because Marissa Popple, who took photos of the or who collected those the ammo that came in from that Good Samaritan, she says, well, the primers didn't match. The primers that were found on the set of rust were were nickel, but the primers that he brought in were brass. Uh -oh. So there that seems to be a discrepancy there. There could be discrepancy. So this may not be a win for the defense if, in fact, those do not match. But it is serious enough to where the judge ordered the state by 1130 this morning to produce a supplemental report and those rounds. Well, the the, the uh, prosecutor said, well, the rounds are here. We have them. And so that's where you kind of have this like jaw dropping moment where it's like, wait, is this happening at this moment? She wants to make sure that she can at least examine those rounds to see if, in fact, they were a match. The, Marissa Popple already testified that they were not a match. And the state says that this is a wild goose chase, claiming that the man who brought those rounds in was a friend of Hannah Gutierrez Reed's family, just trying to vindicate her. But this is just how serious this is. Everything is kind of on pause now to get through this before we can even proceed with the case. Again, the, the Baldwin defense asking for dismissal and the state is fighting back. Dana Griffith, thank you so very much. Great seeing you. Good seeing you. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert, and be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.